Now that you've completed the converged simulation, it is time to visualize the output data. This video will describe how to use the line plotting module in Converge Studio. Click on the line plotting button in the lower left corner of Converge Studio to open the line plotting module. Note that your actions in this module will not affect any output or .cvg files. First, select the case directory that contains your SI8 PFI files. In the filter field, type asterisk .out. Now, the file list will show all of the .out files from your SI8 simulation. We will start by making a plot of the in-cylinder pressure. Click on the file drop-down menu and select thermo underscore region 0 .out, which contains thermodynamic data for the cylinder region. Verify that, in the X drop-down menu, crank degree is selected. In the Y parameters list, select pressure megapascals. Converge Studio will display the volume average pressure in the cylinder region as a function of crank angle. The plot that you see is a preview. To make an actual plot that you can edit and save, click the New Plot button. Verify that the plot name is highlighted in the Plot slash Datasets list on the left side of the screen and click Show. You will now see tabs below the plot that you can use to switch between the preview and any plots you have opened. In the Plot slash Datasets list, highlight the plot you just created and click Edit to open the current plot, Plot Editor dialog box. Here, you can change the axes, datasets, and appearance of the plot. Click on the Axes tab. In the main title field, enter a title for the plot, and in the horizontal and left vertical tabs, use the title fields to enter labels for the X and Y axes, respectively. Note the text formatting options available for the title fields. Click OK to close this dialog box. To help organize your plotting workspace, right-click on plots in the plot slash datasets list and choose Rename. Enter a descriptive name for the plot. Click OK. Now we will look at several more datasets that are generally of interest for engine simulations. For each dataset, remember that you will first see a preview of the plot. You must click on New Plot to create a plot that you can edit and save. In addition to pressure data, the thermo underscore region 0.out file contains temperature data. In the Y parameters list, select Mean Temp to create a plot showing how the cylinder temperature fluctuates throughout the simulation. Again, click New Plot to actually create the plot, Show to open the plot, and Edit to open the plot editor. Use the Axes tab to give the plot a title. Rename the plot in the plot slash datasets list. Change the option in Y parameters to HR underscore rate. This shows the heat release rate. You can see that the heat release rate is zero for most of the simulation, but increases dramatically after the spark plug fires. Follow the previous procedure to create the plot and give it a title and name. Change the Y parameter to Integrated HR, 
the integrated heat release rate to show the integral of heat release rate. Create the plot and give it a title and name. Now, select the mixing underscore region 0.out file from the file drop down menu. Hold the control key and in the Y parameters list, select the parameters phi underscore mean and react underscore phi underscore mean to show the equivalence and react ratios. Note that CO2 and H2O are considered fuel species in the equivalence ratio calculation, but in the react ratio calculation, they are not. Create, title, and name this plot. Next, select the species underscore mass underscore region zero dot out file, which contains data on species mass as a function of crank angle. Hold the control key and select CO2 and CO. You can see how the masses of these two combustion products change throughout the simulation. Create, title, and name the plot. Now, switch to the cell underscore count underscore ranks dot out file. This file contains data to plot cell count throughout the simulation. The preview plot shows the number of grid cells fluctuates throughout the simulation due to the changing cylinder volume and activation and deactivation of embedding and adaptive mesh refinement. The cell count is lowest near exhaust valve closing and the point at which the spark plug fires because the piston is near top dead center and the chamber volume is the smallest. You can use the cell count ranks file to see how Converge distributes the computational cells among the processors throughout the simulation. Select the first processor, rank zero, hold the shift key, and select the final processor to select all processors. The resulting plot shows the cell count of each processor throughout the simulation. At every cycle, the cell count should be roughly equal for each processor. Converge distributes the computational load evenly in order to maximize speed up when using multiple processors. You can export plots as a PDF, SVG, PostScript, or image file. Click on File, Export Active Plot to open the Export Plot dialog box. In the Name field, enter a file name of your choice and in the filter field, select your desired output format. Then click Save to export the file. You can save the entire line plotting workspace as a .psp file by going to File, Save As. Enter a file name of your choice, and click Save to save the workspace file.